I had tried various occupations and um, I was a chiropractor and so on, but nothing was really, there was a phrase I learned, it was called making, if somebody asked me, what makes your heart sing? And I found out for all my searching in my life spiritually and everything else that I didn't really know. And um, I had owned horses some almost 30 years before and somehow wanted to reconnect, but I didn't know how. And uh, I was coming to Asheville and I saw uh, the website for Epona Ridge and it just reached out and grabbed me. And I knew that I wanted to be a part of something. I wanted to learn. And when I got here, I was blown away. It was like from day one, there was just a gentle invitation to open. And each opening of my heart allowed me to really feel what was becoming important to me, what I was looking for, even though I couldn't put words to it. I really couldn't. And so that realization, I mean, it's, I've been coming here for a better part of a couple of years, and, and I can almost remember it, how serious I was because these were like magic horses and I didn't know. And, and yeah. it was that I found when I went home that the opening, what I learned here, what I learned to begin to feel about um, you know, what would bring me joy, I was, I was going home with it. It was like, oh, okay. It wasn't like I just left it. And so I quickly learned it wasn't about being in a special spot. It wasn't about being with wonderful people. And like so many other workshops that maybe when you leave quickly, it leaves. This opening stayed. And so then when I started the mentorship program, each time it was like there was a little more opening, a little more learning about who I was, what I wanted to connect to. So that was the thing that just was the hook was that it stayed and I could transfer anything I was learning um, to my outside life. One of the first things was an exercise that we've done at Epona Ridge where it's simultaneous awareness. Where is your energy when you're approaching another, whether it's a person or a horse? But there was the phrase, rock back and breathe. And I have said that and used it because it really is, rather than if I feel myself getting wound up in my head or feeling like um, I don't know what to do, rather than pushing forward, it's just to take that moment and literally take a physical, emotional, whatever step back, take a deep breath, settle, and then just feel into my body. What is it telling me to do? And sometimes the best action is no action. And in watching the horses, is like they have their little tips among one another, or a dog runs by something, and they perk up, or they have their little altercation, and then they go right back to grazing. And it's just been such a huge lesson. Um, so that is probably one of the biggest things that I could say is a takeaway lesson, but like I said, there are so many. Um, mm -hmm. I find that I'm taking, I would say it's more risks, but it's actually is moving into areas both in an occupation um, and I moved to Asheville, and not because of Epona Ridge, but it felt like a place I wanted to be, so I packed up and moved. And that wouldn't have been something that I would have done before because I would have been looking for consensus, and I have all my friends there and established, but my heart wasn't singing there anymore. And I just said, where really do I want to be? How do I want to live? And I thought I'd done all this work and everything, but I feel like I smile much more readily, and it's just wonderful encountering life from a space of openness rather than I have to be guarded. What are people going to think? 
you know, that kind of a thing. So it's just, I'm way happier with me, and I thought I was doing okay before. <laughs>